Last one. Last method of asexual reproduction for today. This one is fragmentation. So you should turn the page in your notebook and it should be the top of the next page. And there's an image that says planarian, hydra, and starfish at the top. And so I'd like to um, start with the starfish. You can see clearly. Let me show you a little, little vid. Let me get that started. So obviously these are starfish and they don't, these are um, sea stars that typically have six legs. Not all starfish have five. The ones that kind of live east coast is, you know, they're kind of that way. But ours are not. So they're going to grow their legs back and the legs that came off grow new starfish. So these starfish can divide for defensive purposes. They can divide for, um, uh, yeah, they can, de defensive purposes, one might pop off when something's trying to eat it. But fragmentation is a, is the ability to grow an entire new organism out of a piece. Now, yesterday, um, Shane Dobbins, who's in my morning classes, Shane said, that's like SpongeBob. And I thought he was talking about, I don't know what he was talking about. And I said, what do you mean SpongeBob? He goes, one time, well, Patrick... Like gets his arm cut off or something. I think that's what he said. And that he grew in, grew in a whole new Patrick. And I'm like, yes, yes, that's fragmentation. I think you saw the picture that when he was putting it into his notebook yesterday. But that is fragmentation. Now, lots of kids will think about regeneration, which is a little different than fragmentation. So you might be familiar with the fact that some lizards can lose their tails. We have blue-tailed skinks. And um, on my back patio, they're a common lizard to the southern Appalachians, and they're pretty cute. Ours can get fairly big, but they're lizards. They sun themselves. Their scales are reptiles. They're, I don't, I'm not getting them confused with something else. They are blue-tailed skinks is what they are. And so um, every now and then, I'll find a tail in my house and no skink. <laughs> Jenny says she touched one once. She's in here. Um, but that skink that loses its tail, the tail can grow back. That is regeneration. Re meaning again, generate meaning to make. So regeneration, it can make a new tail. But that tail that I found, probably because my cat freaked that skink out and lost its tail, but the tail that I found is not going to grow a new skink. So fragmentation would allow the tail to become a new lizard, but that's not how lizards work. But starfish can lose a leg or a couple of legs and grow a whole new starfish out of one leg. Um, you're also going to watch a crazy video down below uh, about a planarian, which is the first little critter on your image, on your, um, your picture I had you glue in there for fragmentation. And it's, uh, they're going to cut it. They're going to cut a worm. And you're going to watch them cut a worm. Buckle up, guys. It'll be all right. So before I cut you loose on those videos down below, clearly we got to do our notes. So let me get that set up for you. All right, so this should look familiar. Um, I'm going to have you add some notes to it. Please add the progression, one, two, three, for a planarian. And I do want you to label it. It does say it up here, but just in case that's small or whatever, I wrote it again down here. Planarians are flatworms. You can see them... You can see them with a the naked eye, but they're so small, like you wouldn't notice them if you were ever around them. But they're flatworms, and they live in fresh water, and they have incredible powers of fragmentation and regeneration. So that's what the video is focusing on. Um, and then, of course, our hydra from our budding video. Hydra will reproduce on its own through budding, but if you had a hydra and cut it in half, as you saw in one of the videos I posted, it'll just grow new hydra. So obviously one, two, three, hydra can do that too. It's depending on how many pieces you cut, you can have more than two hydra. And then of course our starfish over here, our Patrick's over here, that probably got Shane thinking yesterday, or today to me, but yesterday to y'all. And that's your sea star. And so of course, it fragmentation says a fragment or a piece of an organism develops into a full spit it up. hold on a fragment a piece of an organism develops into a fully grown copy a fully grown 
clone of the parent. Fragmentation, a piece, a fragment becomes the full, the full adult. Eventually, it's got to grow. 